Uh, what's up, Jeff? Uh, just watched your video about their sleepers among us, and some pretty startling stuff you bring up here. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I know it all sounds like quackery to a lot of people, but I've done some research on this kind of thing, and it's totally true. They're totally trying to take away our guns. And you bring up the fact that felons can't have guns, you know, and there's nowhere it says you can't have a gun after you served your debt to society or whatever. But uh, right here, I got a thing in my state. The reasons you can't have a gun. Uh, it says, if you're convicted in court of any crime punishable, punishable by imprisonment for a term exceeding one year or any state offense classified by the state as a misdemeanor and punishable by a term of imprisonment of more than two years. That's not even a felony. There's this, you don't even have to be a felon. That's what they're saying right here. You don't even have to be a felon and you can't have a gun. <clears throat> and then it talks about this again. And it says if you're a fugitive from justice, you can't have a gun. If it's if you use an unlawful or or addicted to any controlled substance, so any marijuana users can't have a gun, supposedly, or anybody that does any kind of drugs, basically. If you've been ejected as a mental defective involuntarily or committed to a mental institution. So basically, uh, I know a lot of you guys are hearing about how you can go to rehab and get out of a lot of trouble and stuff like that. And... What you don't realize is that it's considered a mental institution, and when you're court-ordered to go to this rehab or you choose to go to rehab, it's considered court-ordered, and you're going not because uh, you want to or need to. Uh, you're going to. You're ma they're making you go to a mental institution. So right there, if you've gone to rehab by the court, you can't have a gun. If you've been convicted of any crime of any punish punishable less or more than a term, whatever that I said before, uh, and if you're an illegal or unlawful alien, which makes complete sense to me. I don't think that illegal aliens should have guns. Uh, if you've been dishonorably discharged from the United States Armed Forces. So basically, if you're in the Army and you don't do what you're told, uh, you can't have a gun. And if you're a renouncer of your U.S. citizenship, you can't have a gun. And if you have a restraining order for stalking or threatening a child or intimate partner or a child of such a partner, you can't have a gun. And if you're convicted of any kind of misdemeanor, uh, domestic violence crime. So basically, if you get in an argument with your girlfriend and she says that you uh, hit her or something like that, it means you can't have a gun. So it's not only the felony thing, it's a lot of things. They are trying to take our guns. And what I'm going to suggest right here is you go to your bank and you withdraw the money for the gun. And if the state laws, maybe you don't live in a state where you can go to a gun show, but in a lot of states they still do have gun shows. And you can buy them from a personal dealer or collector. And if you buy it from them, it really doesn't go on the record. They won't know when they come for the people's guns that you have a gun. So I suggest you do it like that. That just buy it cash. Don't buy it with credit or anything like that. That says you know you bought a gun. Uh, I'm not gonna say that I have any guns. Uh, but everybody should have a gun. I mean, they talk about in the Vir Virginia Tech. You know, oh, if they didn't, if this guy didn't have a gun, oh, how would he get this gun? Blah 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 blah. That's bull. That's such bull. <laughs> He probably got the gun illegally first off, uh, and second off, yeah, he might have been hypnotized. That's kind of a scary idea, this whole uh, sleeper cell thing. I mean, you and I could be a sleeper cell. I mean, this good Jeff guy, Jeff, you might be a sleeper cell. You don't know. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of a scary idea you're proposing here, but uh, I totally understand the fact that the banks, the International Treasury, Treasury owns the money in the United States that, that they took it away from us, and now they're just taking more and more money. I've seen videos that has to do with that. Uh, maybe next time you should start out with the whole 9-11 thing. Uh, it's a pretty touchy subject with a lot of people, and most people shut you off that fast if you talk about 9-11 in any kind of way. You know, you're all of a sudden you're a kook or whatever. But, uh, I don't know how long I've been into this video. Four minutes, but I'm just saying what, what you're saying makes a lot of sense, and they are totally trying to come after our guns. And it's scary the fact that all these other countries have taken away the, the people's rights to have a gun, but... I know you read the Bible, Jeff, and things will come to pass in the end of days, and one of those things is a new world order, like you're talking about a one world government, and it's well on the way. The United Nations, I think, was the first step as far as that goes, but what happens, happens. Uh, I'm not suggesting any kind of revolution, but Thomas Jefferson says that the tree of patriotism must be replenished, or no, the tree of democracy, or something like that, must be replenished with the blood of patriots from time to time. I'm not saying that we should rise up and do anything crazy like that. I mean, uh, if you haven't noticed, they're already shutting down all the militias. Uh, anybody from the ages of 18 to 45 can be a militia man, but they don't tell you that. They don't want you to know that. They don't want you to know that you can legally form together some kind of, not an army, but 
something to that effect. Just a constitutional militia. They shut, they're shutting all these people down. They're saying they're anti-government and all that kind of stuff. But what you're saying, Jeff, it makes a lot of sense. And just like your message for Christ, keep up the good work. And God bless you, brother.